this video, you'll learn how to divide fractions. And the process for dividing fractions is almost as straightforward as the process for multiplying fractions. There's just three little things you need to keep in mind first, and they are keep, change and flip. Keep means keep the first fraction just as it is, don't change it. Change means change your divide sign into a multiply sign. And flip means take your second fraction and flip it upside down. So flip your second fraction. And another way of saying flip the second fraction is saying write the reciprocal of the fraction. Reciprocal is another word for saying that the numerator and the denominator have swapped places. So let's have a go with this example here. We're going to keep the first fraction. So we're going to keep the half as it's already written. We're going to change our divide sign to a multiply. And we're going to flip this second fraction. That means our one's going to go down and then our four is going to go up. So we're writing the reciprocal, which is four over one. From here, this is just a multiplication of fractions problem. So we go one times four, so multiplying the numerators. We go two times one, which is multiplying the denominators. And we have four over two. Now four over two is four divided by two, which means how many twos are there in four? There are two lots of two in four. Now let's have a look at this as a diagram. So here I've actually got a half drawn out. So this is our first fraction, one half. And this is one half of the whole circle. Okay, it's been divided in half. That is one of those halves. Now if we think about what division means, division means how many of this is there in this? So how many quarters are there in this? Let's have a look over here. And I'm going to just put in one more line to show you our four quarters in our original full circle. But we're actually only interested in this half here. We're asking how many quarters are there in a half? And check it out. One, two. There are two quarters in one half. So that's just showing you how this works and that it does work and proving it to you that it does work. So if you can remember this, if you can remember to keep the first fraction the same, change your sign from divide to multiply and flip your second fraction, then all you need to do is use your multiplication rules to then solve your problem. Again, all you need to do to keep in mind your whole numbers is that just as we did for multiplying fractions, if one of your numbers is a whole number, first convert it to a fraction by writing it over one. Let's see some of these in action. So keep change flip. I'm even going to write keep change flip. It's like KFC, but not quite. And we're going to go through and do that with these four examples. So let's keep this four over seven just as it is. Let's change this divide sign into a multiply and let's flip a third. It will become three over one. This becomes four times three is 12. Seven times one is seven. And you can either leave that as your simplified form of an, an which is an improper fraction or we could write all right there's one lot of seven in there how many left over there's five parts left over so one and five sevenths this next one three quarters divided by five remember five is five over one so let's keep our first fraction change our sign flip our second fraction and we go three times one four times five and can we simplify this? Well, it doesn't look like it because three is not a factor of 20, so we can't simplify it. This is already a prime number here. All right, 11 twelfths. Let's keep that the same. Change our sign, flip our second fraction, and let's go. 11 times three is 33, 12 times two, 24. Can we simplify this now? We can't simplify it with the number two because this is an odd number. What about three? Are both of these in our three times tables? Hopefully you can see that they are. So let's divide top and bottom by three to do our simplification. So 33 divided by three is 11. 24 divided by three is eight. Uh, can we simplify any further? Well, 11 is a prime number and we can't divide eight by 11. So this is our final improper fraction form of our answer, but we could also write it as a mixed number. We have one 
full lot of 8 over 8. Uh, and then we've got 9, 10, 11. We've got three parts left over. So 1 and 3 eighths is our final mixed number answer. And lastly, we've got 4 divided by 6 fifths. So let's write this as a fraction to fir first up. Let's keep that the same. Change our sign. Flip our second fraction. 4 times 5 is 20. 1 times 6 is 6. They're both even, so let's go through and halve both of them. And we're there. All right, that's our improper fraction answer. Or if we want to do a mixed number, we've got three lots of three in there, which is nine, with one part left over. So three and a third is our final answer. Okay, now it's your turn to practice. Time to pause, have a go, and then resume and check your working out. So how did you go? Did you notice that you could simplify here? Or did you do 4 times 1 to get 4 and 7 by 6 to get 42? If you did, you might have had to have done more simplification to get to this final answer. So see if you can find these factors in your bow tie arrangement and see if you can simplify earlier on rather than right here at the end. Alright, I hope you got a lot from this video and you now feel confident in dividing fractions. Thanks for watching.